We are not against mining, but we cannot accept mining in a manner that risks destroying our country. There is a popular view that bauxite can be mined without destroying forest cover, land and water bodies. Interestingly, this view is driving development decisions that will allow bauxite mining in the Etiwa Forest Reserve, a globally significant biodiversity area and water source for over 5 million Ghanaians. The process of bauxite mining requires the clearing of land which includes the removal of forest and other vegetation. This is then followed by processes that remove the topsoil before digging the laterite soil, that is the red soil, which contains the bauxite ore that is further processed into aluminium. Environmental issues caused by bauxite mining includes change of landscape and loss of biodiversity, erosion control, disturbance of hydrological systems, waste disposal and dust and noise caused by mining operations. International best practices in bauxite mining requires that pre-mining surveys and strategic environmental assessments are conducted in new mining areas to provide information on the biodiversity resources within a specified area as well as plans on how to mitigate negative environmental impacts. In proposed mining areas where there are records of rare or endangered species or significant sites important for water provision are found, such areas are avoided to minimize the impact of mining. Despite the fact that the Etiwa Range Forest Reserve has bauxite deposits, River Densu, Ayensu and Birim all take their source from the forest reserve. Over 5 million people in Ghana depend on these rivers for their water supply and livelihoods. Again, records show that over 100 species in Etiwa Forest are threatened or near threatened with extinction. One of such critically endangered species is the white named Mangabe. If the Etiwa Forest is mined for bauxite, these rivers would cease to exist as the natural water systems would be destroyed and water for many people in Ghana would be affected as well as globally endangered species lost forever. It is important for caution to be taken in all decisions that target ecological sensitive areas like the Etiwa Forest Reserve for bauxite. The promise of jobs and social development that accompany bauxite mining in Ghana may be a mirage. This is affirmed by the case of Awaso, a typical bauxite mining community in the western region of Ghana. Since 1940, 78 years of bauxite mining, the community has seen very little development and nothing to show for excessive bauxite mining in the area, except lack of sustainable jobs for the youth, poor infrastructure and heavy pollution of their water bodies. Our community no more because yeah, na nam na bre yeah, omunya sa a treasure yeah, omu ko yeah, omu ya bauxite ne ba. Na fi a ho ko ne ba, we be who na omu do omu ya omu free baby strange person no aba, strange person no aba ni a em play no. Boy sin titi duyase, e wa wa so ha. Na a nam kro no ni a dal because stress ne so. Salary is so it's very less. It will be cramped with me to earn three hundred a month or a year we ba. We to earn electricity bill, to earn water bill. Eh? The quest to utilize the nation's wealth and mineral resources to spearhead development in Ghana is laudable. But this should not be done at the expense of our natural water resources, a sustainable and healthy environment, and above all, the loss of our natural heritage and critical ecosystem functions and services provided by forests.
Etiwa Forest Reserve, if mined today, will be lost forever.